upon a time, there were three little pigs. They had just moved to a new meadow to build three little houses. The first little pig loved to play in the mud all day long. The first pig found a large pile of twigs right near his favorite mud puddle and built a house with them as fast as he could. He was in a hurry to finish soon and get right back to playing in the mud. Besides, he thought, the loose twigs would allow a nice breeze in the summer. The first and the second little pigs were best friends, but they sure were opposite from each other. The second pig loved to take naps and to stretch out, and be lazy, and to sleep. When they got to the meadow, the second pig went straight to a nearby farm and took lots of warm, soft, sweet-smelling straw to make an entire house with it, as cozy as could be. He built his straw house right away and took a wonderfully cozy nap for the rest of the day. The second pig slept and slept, while the first pig played and played. The third pig was best friends with the first and the second pigs, but he sure was different from both of them. his friends that building a house is serious business. It needs to be planned very carefully and not rushed. What if there's some kind of danger? What if a strong wind come? The first pig answered, I'm too busy having a great time to worry about what hasn't happened. The second pig opened his sleepy eyes and answered, Oh, were you talking to me? I was having such a nice snooze on my warm, soft, sweet-smelling straw. My whole house is just so cozy. Besides, I'm too busy enjoying my nap to worry about what hasn't happened. planning his house in case there was any danger, and just in case there was ever a strong wind. He built his house out of bricks as solid as could be. And the third pig was delighted with how safe and sturdy his new home was. Their separate lives in separate ways, but every Sunday they always had an afternoon dinner together. One fine Sunday afternoon, the first little pig and the second little pig decided to meet the third little pig at his house made of bricks. Everyone planned a surprise dish to have a potluck dinner. 
But on that day, they weren't the only hungry pigs. A wolf had seen these pigs, and he decided to catch one for his own dinner. While the first little pig was preparing his meal, the wolf showed up and knocked on his door. But the pig didn't answer. The wolf called through the window, Please help me, kind little piggy, for I'm lost. Let me in! Let me in! I can't let a scary wolf in, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And I'll huff, and I'll buff, and I'll blow your house. And he did. The little pig ran squealing all the way to the second pig's house for safety. The wolf was very excited now. That silly pig's leading me straight to a two-course meal. <laughs> up at the second pig's straw house, he was preparing for Sunday dinner too. The wolf knocked on the second pig's door, and again there was no answer. The wolf called through the window, please help me, kind little piggy, for I'm lost. Let me in! Let me in! for dinner, he was boiling a gigantic pot of soup over the fireplace. It was full of steaming hot water and spice and vegetables, ready for whatever surprise the other pigs would bring for the main course. When the wolf showed up at the third pig's brick house, he knocked on the door, but no one answered. The wolf called through the window. Please, please. Kind little piggies, I'm lost. Let me in. Let please let me in. I won't let a scary wolf in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. But that brick house was built too well for a wolf to blow down. He needed a better plan and yelled through the window. If you won't let me in, everyone watching at home will huff, and everybody watching at home will puff, and everyone watching at home will blow your house down. Well, they all tried really hard. But even all of you guys at home, plus one hungry wolf, can't blow down a brick house. So the wolf paced around a bit and finally saw another entrance. He saw the chimney. The wolf climbed up the roof and slid down the chimney, landing right in the boiling soup that was waiting for him in the fireplace. Splendid 